so we can do it right from head to toe. Let's get started. So we're gonna start from that forward bow, that punch out. We're gonna turn our foot, pick up our right leg for a roundhouse kick. Kick, and as we land, chop. Okay? I'll do it this way. Turn the foot, kick, Ash cry form three, part B. Forward bow, left foot forward. Hand high and tight, other one towards the center of our body. Hands up, turn our foot. Roundhouse kick, land and chop. Feet together. So what I want you to do to work on that is if you have a piece of paper or if you have a kicking bag at your house, I want you to practice kicking it and landing with a chop over the next minute. Because a lot of times we kick and land and then chop, but with focus, we can use our body as an asset to be stronger than we were before. We want to kick and land. Go. Next, you put your right foot forward. And when you step with your right foot back, and put your right foot forward. Seems easy enough, right? So for like the next 15 seconds, I want you to practice that. Just skipping back. Like a nice little dance move. Yes. It's Halloween week, so we got our spooks on. So right foot, skip back. Left foot, skip back. Landing with our right foot forward. And from there, left foot goes and cross. I call it a little Michael Jackson snap. So the next 30 seconds or so, as I said, right foot swings back, left foot swings back, left foot goes forward, and add a snap. second half. Forward bow, roundhouse kick, chop, step back the right foot, chop to the left, step back to the left foot, chop the right, crisscross, hands go up. All right guys, so we're doing the second half of our screen set. Make sure you have that bottom, so you have the bunyo in the top. 
9 through 16 start the same way that 1 through 8 does. So X and then upside down X. There you go. Before we start the new part of that, I want you to look at how I take my arm and I make a big backward circle and push up. And then I do a backhanded swing the other way. Another angle, backwards, up, give yourself a big hug, and then say swish. I want you to do the whole X or just those, the bottom two going up for the next 30 seconds. Put your hand down and pick your hand up. Down, up, down, up. I want you to do that for 30 seconds. The next trick I want you to do is your grown-up's going to chuck a pillow at you or a stuffy. You need to just take your stick and just down. So the object will be thrown at you and you're going to smack it down. So in the habit of what's called the check, the other hand is up. For this strike, it follows the Eskrima stick. 30 seconds, go. This one's suspense, which is called hidden sword. In tempo, our hands, our blade of the hand, is known as a sword. So for the next 30 seconds, I want you to focus on big hug and chopping out. You know this chop from the beginning of AK3, but right now I want you to do it from something coming behind. So if someone has a pillow, they're going to push you on your back, and you're going to step and hit. Big hug, chop. Specific points on that pillow. So you could like mark it with some tape or be like center, top, down. When you step and chop, I want you to chop right on target. So one time, they'll push you, you'll hug, and you step back with your left foot, turn, and chop. Hug, chop. If you want to start just stationary, face to face, chopping there, do that as well. Let's try it. So if someone's choking you from the back, thumbs in, back, okay? You squish your shoulders. Step one, squish your shoulders. You want to breathe just like the mucker shoulder. Step one, squish as you hug, step, and as you exhale, back. Okay? Scream step. We have that up hand. That is the check. Okay, let's do that again. Squish. And chop. 
So I'm going to give you some time and you're going to work on that. Next 30 seconds, and if the other door stops in, is that you? And what you do is focus on your palm up, palm down, thumb on the outside for your punches. So 30 seconds, alternating your hands, how many punches can make contact to those steppies. Two for our scream stick. Let's quickly do our one, two, which is in this case, nine, ten, nine, ten, backward circle, eleven, big hug, swing up, oh, very nice, nine, ten, eleven, twelve with the check, right? Now we're doing the blocks. So take your right stick, push across your body. Yes. So one more time, put it down, across your body. And now you're gonna flip it all the way up for the sky. And the last week we just practiced up and down. So 10, 11, yes, keep doing it with me. Put it down, flip it up. Lock that pad so you're striking their stick and across. So today what I want you to practice is across our body, pointing down, pointing up, swinging by your side, and then pointing down again with our check up. You got that you're ready for strike sitting you went back you pointed down at the sky now you're going to bring the stick straight up but this time bend your elbow and kiss your muscle there you go this hand still up as a check and this is making a roof block if you remember strike eight was a bump on the head we want to prevent that so for next 30 seconds someone's going to throw something at your head last week we smacked it down this time I want you to punch it up. Either you're going to hit with your fist or with the stick. 30 seconds, go. Chop in a guard into a guard stance crisscross with our hands up. I want to take your right leg and pick it up really big, like a front kick, but drop your heel down. You know what kick that's called? It's called an axe kick. So I have an ottoman right here. And I want if you have an ottoman, ask permission or stack them some stuffed animals. And when you practice, pick up your leg, throwing your front kick, 
and dropping your heel. Bring it with your toes all the way down. Because in reality, if you had to use this, you'd hit the sternum right here or the collarbone, but training on a hardwood floor or a squish, you don't want to hit with your heel. You want to control heel down and land into your toe. You don't want to slap the foot or drop your leg. So one more time, left foot, right leg comes up, front kick, drop it on your soft target, and land down. We're gonna do that for the next minute. into our cross stance, we're gonna do that axe kick. Very nice, you put your right hand out as if you're grabbing something. Step back with your right foot, take your right hand, bring it across your body, drop your left knee, close kneel, not on the ground yet. Punch with your left, and now put your right knee down, high block, open hand, punch. We're gonna do that again, but first, I want you to take 30 seconds. This is all legs. I want you to practice going close kneel, drop it. See how there's a height difference? One more time. I'm going to turn this way. Close kneel, and then I drop my right knee. My hands are up, my head is on, on straight. Is that standing at tall as if there's a teacup on my head? Do it with me. Close kneel. Drop it like it's hot. As fast as you can, as slow as you want. Work on just that closed kneel into the kneel. Remember the left leg into right. Focus on the back straight and not having your left knee touch, but dropping your right knee. Let's put action karate form three, part B, part two, together. So we have our left foot over, guard stance, axe kick, grab, step back to the right, throw down, close kneel, punch with the left hand, rotate onto my right knee, high block with the left, punch, open up top, close on the bottom, feet together, victory, humility, courtesy, man. Face in another direction, cross the left, right leg, grab, step around, close knee punch, rotate up. Together, victory from the heart, humility, courtesy. Last week, big hugs, pull the hand back, chop and punch, do it one time with me. Boom, we'll grab the step, squish, step, there. We can one step, two step from here, as we did in our brains last week, but I want you to add in a back leg front kick. I want you to focus on knee up, facing your foot out, and using your chamber to land in your guard for one step, two step. So if you're Sibling so or grown up is there and they can walk at you holding a pillow and you take your back leg, front kick to stop them from coming, and then one step, two step before they can 
do the truck fill at you, say Boogeyman. We did just have Halloween and the Day of the Dead celebrations. So whatever challenges you to quickly kick land in one step, two step, without falling down, without dropping your hands, let that be your challenge right now. One more time, they're gonna walk at you. Front kick, moving back, one step, two step. We're going to put it all together, nine through, you guessed it, 16, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Today's challenge, or might be your fun part, let's do it with the left hand. One, two, nine, 10, 11, Big hug, 12, across, pull back, across, and kiss your muscle. And but whoop, loop, loop, loop. Let's do it again. Whichever hand you want, we're gonna do right, no, scratch that. We're gonna do right, and then we're gonna left, and then you're gonna have practice time. So get loose on your feet, hand up in the check, 9, 10, 11, 12, walk across, pointing your hips straight down, pulling your pointing up, smack down, pulling your straight up, and now put your bring your to the down, and give that block. And swing it all the way to your side, and back to ready. With the left step, 9, 10, 11, 12, Block, swing, block, muscle, and you down, and there you go. I'm going to do it from the right, follow along, ready, ready, 9, 10, count it loud, 11, 12, block, smack, across, and up. Move around and back at ready. I'm going to leave you 60 seconds. I want you to practice that. As you could tell, I was moving with it. Our niece is a form of martial arts, which is also an art. So there's movement, there's a dance quality. So don't become rigid, let it flow. Go. It's week three. Let us put it all together. Now in trouble. Squash your shoulders. Hide the sword. Step back so you don't step into the thumbs. You want to release the pressure. Pull that hand high and ready. 
From another angle, if you're looking, I know it's all Tie the cord. Again, step, one step, two steps. Hands are still up, but eyes on your target. I'm going to give you a minute. I want you to practice it in the end. Now that you got that, for the next minute, I want you to close your eyes and focus on opening them the moment you feel someone choking you from behind. We made it to week three. We're gonna put part A and B of the second half, which is part B of three together. Slowly together, follow along, and then we'll have some drills. We start forward, both left, right punch. Turn the foot, hands go up. Pizza kick, turn the foot. Pizza kick, what? Silly, that was really good. We start with our forward bow. Left, turn the foot, hands go up. Pete's kick, come down with that chop. Stepping back, chop with the left. Step with the left behind our right leg so we can spin into the chop. Crisscross, left leg in front, right leg in back, hand is up. Right leg does an ax kick, come down, grab. Step back with your right foot, follow into your own armpit. Kiss your muscle, close knee, punch your left. Drop your right knee, high block punch, ka -chow. and set. Victory, humility, courtesy, come here.
B of Ashraf from three. So you are ready for strike test coming up. Let us review. What are you doing right now? So we did all the punches of five. The target's right there. You want that final takedown. So you're gonna kick them and chop them down. Okay? They come out, you chop them, you chop them. That chop, that last chop, that's a block. So I want your grown up there, your sibling, try to touch you on the shoulder and I want you to cross and block. So that cross now creates distance. You're gonna grab their shoulder and pull them to your side. And you're gonna punch. This is why it's not a full meal. But they're not down the ground yet. You're gonna punch their kidney or their ribs, put them there, and then drop because that arm pushes them this way for your punch. So this whole form is a takedown. It's not just a takedown, but using your moves is more than a dance. Helping you stand strong, move your left and your right, and protect yourself if necessary. A block is a punch, a punch is a block. So for one minute, I want you to do this move on each other. Ready? You have that axe kick, axe kick your attacker. Pull, grab them, throw them to the ground. Boom, and then kneel on them, and whatever's coming, you're telling them to stop. Go. Ash grab from three, part B, together. Ash grab from three, part B, courtesy. Four bow, punch. Bounce house kick, chop, step back, one, step back, two. That's a total of three chops. Crisscross applesauce into an axe kick. Grab, rotate, cut out, and that's when the knee hits the ground. Set, victory, humility, courtesy, man, 